हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू वीडियो लेसन ऑफ सेंट जोसेफ्स एकेडमी मरियम नगर गाजियाबाद सो दिस वीडियो लेसन इज़ फॉर क्लास फिफ्थ सब्जेक्ट साइंस सो इन दिस पीरियड वी विल बी डूइंग द एक्सरसाइज ऑफ लेसन नंबर ट्वेल्व क्लेनलीनेस एंड हाइजीन इन अवर प्रीवियस पीरियड वी डेड द एक्सप्लेनेशन पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर Our first exercise is take the correct answer. Part A: A disease that is spread by eating infected food is typhoid. Part B: Bite of an infected mosquito. If an infected mosquito bites us, so it will cause malaria, dengue. chicken pox or both one and two so the bite of an infected mosquito will cause both malaria and dengue part c ringworm is caused by it is caused by fungi part d a landfill is made inside a school inside a house in the outskirts of city and none of them so its answer will be number 3 in the outskirts of city part e we should brush our teeth so we all know that to brush our teeth twice a day part 2 give two examples of each so in this question we have to give two examples of each of the following first is biodegradable waste so we all know that the two examples of this waste are paper and vegetable peels because they can be decomposed easily number 2 is non biodegradable waste so here our options will be plastic and metals number 3 diseases caused by virus so virus can cause chicken pox and measles number 4 diseases caused by bacteria so bacteria will cause cholera and tuberculosis number 5 diseases caused by fungi so mycetoma and ringworm so these are the two examples exercise number 3 is a right true or false part a people often fall sick due to unclean surroundings so yes this is true if we will be having unclean surroundings we will fall sick part b clothes should be changed every day so this is also true to avoid germs we should change our clothes every day c non biodegradable waste should be disposed in green bins now this is false students because green bins are for biodegradable waste so non biodegradable waste should be disposed in blue bins part d a sick person should be kept in isolation yes the sick person should be kept in isolation this is true now part e we should use the articles used by the sick person student this is false because we should not use the articles used by the sick person if we will do so we will also catch that disease next exercise is answer the following questions part a what are communicable diseases the answer is diseases that are spread from a sick person to a healthy person are called communicable diseases that can be infected from one person to another part b 
how can the spread of communicable diseases be prevented so if we want to prevent communicable diseases what step should be taken so for this the answer will be the spread of communicable diseases can be prevented by first step keeping the surroundings clean next maintaining personal cleanliness we should keep our body clean neat and clean and next is keeping the sick person in isolation if the person is sick we should keep him in isolation so that it may not affect other healthy person in the house one more step we can take that eating clean food and drinking clean water part c write three ways to maintain community hygiene means cleanliness of the surroundings so for this maintenance of cleanliness at all places like public conveniences markets schools cinema hall etc next point proper disposal of waste and excreta periodic cleaning and disinfection of water reservoirs pools tanks etc so by maintaining these uh, three ways we can maintain community hygiene or cleanliness of the surroundings d write four ways to maintain personal hygiene so this is a very easy question which you should answer it well because of from class 1 you have been told to maintain personal hygiene so for this every day take a bath wash your hands frequently brush your teeth twice a day and wear clean clothes so by these four ways we can maintain personal hygiene part e is distinguish between biodegradable and non biodegradable waste so students biodegradable waste are such plant and animal waste such as vegetable peels paper and excreta that can be decomposed easily and they can mix with the soil in non biodegradable waste these are waste such as plastic and glass metal which do not decompose easily so hence they stay in the soil for a very long time and they cause soil pollution part f write a short note on landfill so landfill provides long term storage for non biodegradable waste so landfills are for non biodegradable waste they cannot be decomposed easily so they are suited in the outskirts of cities to re reduce odor and pests part g what is incinerator so incinerator basically is a waste treatment process that involves the combustion of organic substances contained in waste materials our next part is hots high order thinking skill so its first question is why should garbage or waste not be dumped in our surroundings so its answer is people often fall sick due to unclean surroundings so the garbage should not be dumped in our surroundings number 2 is why is a student suffering from viral fever or chicken pox asked to stay home till he or she recovers whenever he or she is having viral fever why do we tell that student to remain in the home 
a student suffering from viral fever or chicken pox is asked to stay at home as they need time and lots of rest in order to fully recuperate from illness and it is also to help minimize the spread of infection so if a person or students who is suffering from viral fever and if he is coming to school that infection can be spread from one student to another so that is why he is advised to stay at home till he or she recovers so students i hope now you might have understood all the exercises of this chapter very well now for homework you have to learn and write all these exercises in your notebook That's all for now students stay home stay safe